number 40 in a row, 40th video, and today we're doing some offshore fishing out here in front of Boynton Beach. All right, the strategy today, you know, because strategy is very important, so I'm trying to keep you guys filled in on that. Uh, it's a full moon, which we don't really like fishing on a full moon, but, um, you know, it's, it's also one of the best days uh, to be out here, and it's been really... The super moon this month. Yeah, it's that crazy moon you guys probably know about it if you fish. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and, but the seas are laid down, so we gotta get offshore. You know, we haven't been off in forever, so we're out here. Uh, it's Sunday, it's a weekend, so there's a little bit of boat pressure, which we don't like. You know, we haven't been fishing on the weekends too much. Uh, again, and it's a full moon. But there was a major time, you know, we're trying to track that from 11.15 to 1.15 today, and that's almost up. We've been out here the whole time. Uh, we're doing some nice live baits we bought from Gary, uh, the bait guy uh, out of Boynton, and we're trolling two down and, and two up like we like to do. And, you know, we're getting a ton of bites uh, from, from kingfish. And, you know, we don't really fish for kingfish. They're not very pretty to pho photograph, and we don't really eat them too much. So, you know, we're using, a, we're using uh, some mono on top, uh, trying to catch mahi and sailfish, but we're not getting those bites, so we're getting a lot of cutoffs and going through a lot of, uh, of bait. I can even show you. Save these. Here's, you know, here's, here's one. Oh, keep it in the boat. And here's another one. So, you know, so that's what's happening. We also, uh, we got one big bite before, and, and, and actually, <laughs> it created a big bird's nest like a bait caster, and uh, I'll show you that right here. So that was pretty googan, but uh, the thing just took off like crazy, and then it broke the line. So you know, nothing we could do. But uh, we're gonna actually start using some, using uh, something we ne we don't do, and that is use uh, some uh, lip divers out here. People love lip divers, we're paddle lip divers, and and, and other big ones. Uh, but we got some nice new from Livingston with that EBS, and so we're gonna pull those around, and also a spoon, um, and we have those on wire, so we could really uh, slay the kingfish uh, right now. I think well, I'm gonna show you those. These are in our op opening box uh, unboxing, but here's a big saltwater lip diver. Saltwater lip diver with EBS technology. With EBS, it and you can signal. actually see really quick here. You can see the big signal right here of actually the actual electronics inside the bait, and it creates a um, croaking sound that bait would make under the water. Pretty cool. Right, and then we have a smaller one, and then we're going to troll this use Yuri. Um, Squid. Squid. He's already squid. Darcy loves these, so she bought a bunch of these. And then where's my spoon? It's like a regular spoon. It's like it's got blue on it. So we're gonna troll these around for a little bit, and, and again, just try a different approach. So um, wish us luck with that, and we're gonna catch a fish, I think. Catch a blackfin or a monkey. Look. I see. There, there's fish on that thing. We didn't catch any fish trolling, so we decided to do some wreck fishing. And the wreck we're fishing is in 193 feet of water. And the good thing about wreck fishing is that you really never know what you're going to catch. There could be all types of fish holding on a wreck. But one of the main types of species you catch is amberjack, bonita, blackfin tuna, and even the occasional wahoo. All right, drop it down. Marking fish. South of the wreck or on it? We're south of the wreck. So we're Hopefully, 92, 196, 170 on the wreck. A lot of fish marking. I'm gonna bump to the right a little bit. Mark a lot of fish. In reverse. The guy jigging next to us ain't catching anything either. Neither did the drift boat. So let's let's switch from wire to mono. All right, reel it up. We're off the wreck. More jiggers. All right, we're doing a live bait. Okay, drop it. We changed uh, from a wire rig to a mono, and from a blue runner to a gog. So we're trying different techniques. A lot of fish mark. It looks like a bunch of bonita, 50 feet and higher. All right, coming up on the wreck right now. All right, reading 171 right now, 169, 67. We're on top at 170 still, 171. I don't see any fish though. 145, 46. All these guys got. All these guys come over by us. Are we right on top? They think they're still on those where the fish are. 95 coming off it now all right we have moved to another wreck in a hundred feet of water we didn't get any bites on that wreck using wire and mono goggle eyes two guys next to us were jigging they didn't catch nothing and the drift boat came through two or three times and they got freaking 20 people on that thing they didn't catch nothing either so we're on a shallower wreck uh, off of uh, Boyton Delray area we've caught some nice rainbow runners on here before I'll get out of the way. 
No? Over here. What? <laughs> I'm talking to my people. All right, went from went from 100 up to 73 right now. This is really the good spot. 73 feet. So the wreck is up 27 feet. Market some more fish. Here we go. Getting a good bite. Oh, he might have been stuck. Oh, might have been stuck. Just my bad. He might, he might have been stuck on the bottom. It well, felt like a bite a little bit. It does feel like a bite. When you, with these wrecks, you, you have to put your thing down enough to get to the fish that are around the wreck. So you're either going to get caught in the wreck a lot, or you're not going to catch a fish a lot. So, you know, it's like a balance. It's just like the wire in, in mono balance. You know, if you put wire on there, you're going to catch the toothy critters. But if you put wire on there, you know, you're not going to get a lot of bites. So, when I put that down, there's fish, some fish down there in the south side. You got, you got down? Yeah. All right. I don't know what, you know, it's not big fish, little fish. <laughs> Trying to catch you guys a fish, man. All right, we changed our leader from 50 pound pink Andy Mono to 40 pound fluorocarbon. Yeah. Just trying to get that bite. I don't know if you know, I can't get a bite with these goggle eyes. Full moon curse. It's, you know, we don't like fishing on that full moon. But, uh. I probably wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to because we haven't been able to fish that much. Um, and the, again, like I told you guys before, that calendar, the Solonar, Sol whatever, the moon phase calendar, was telling us today's a great day to fish and we went through, and I wanted to go through the major time. We're checking these things out. We're seeing how these things, you know, how it affects fishing. And it didn't work for us at all today. But the fishing has been crappy out here all week. You know, yesterday we only caught that. I got this thing blocked in the day sun. Day before yesterday. Day before yesterday we caught one mahi, which, you know, it's nice to catch that mahi, but it's not that much fish. And you know, the day before that we didn't catch much either. You know, broke that off a sail. Broke off a sail. So, you know, there should be, you know, we haven't seen much fish around either, no bait or nothing. So, marking fish, marking fish. Beautiful sunset right now. Darcy's a little upset we didn't catch a fish today. Ridiculous. This would have caught the monster fish today. <laughs> Can't get him out of the well. Right, we, just got, we just got inside the inlet and Darcy was driving a boat. No one's fault, I don't think, but. I don't know, it seems like when you, when you give it gas, the prop just spins, or the transmission slips, which is probably more of a prop spin issue, I'm not sure. So right now we're just limping back to the thing, um, back to the marina. It's about half a mile here, but uh, I don't know. I'm not even going to show you so you guys can see for yourself. Give it a little, sizzle, I'm going to put the camera by the engine and you give it a little gas. Alright. Just a little. One more. All right. Did you hear that? It started like revving, but not moving faster. Um, so we're just gonna limp back. No alarms are going off or anything. Hopefully, it might just be a prop spun. Um, I don't know. I'm really upset. <laughs> this is not cool. All right, just put it in gear and get it back I'm to. I'm in the... gear. All right, we'll get a little more gas. We... We haven't caught any fish and just had that motor rebuilt and now we're having this trouble. It's probably just a prop or I don't know, but we'll see. It's got to go in for a 20 hour service after we got the new power head. So we're going to limp back here. We are back home. We're going to go ahead and wrap up this video right here. Um, we need to start a new day. Today, uh, I don't know what to say about today, unfortunately. We didn't catch any fish. We had a bunch of hits, but just couldn't connect, couldn't get those fish to uh, get on our hooks. And then, um, yeah, and then that happened to our engine as we were headed in the intercoastal. Thank God that happened when we were literally 500 feet from our marina, so it was actually very, very lucky. Um, but otherwise, I'm just really bummed, and with the engine issue now, I'm even more bummed. So. Tried to catch a fish for you guys today. Couldn't do it. I'm sorry. Just want to apologize right now. And I'm sorry if this video it's is boring. Fault. I'm sorry if this video is This boring. video is awesome. I'm trying. But I'm really depressed right now. I'm just... 
Need to start a new day. Stay yeah. blah. I am having an attitude of gratitude. I think it's just a prop pub spun, hopefully. Uh, we're gonna get it <laughs> get it in to the shop this week and we're doing some inshore fishing this week and bass fishing. Yep. And uh, yep. along with the attitude of gratitude, you know, the other day I was sitting home, I don't know what I was doing, but you know, I get to go fishing every day with this wonderful young lady and I tell her every day and you guys allow us to go fishing and watch the videos yeah. and I, you know, I got to pinch myself, it's the most wonderful thing in the whole wide world and this propeller in the boat, it's just completely baloney. Yeah. Um, it just sucks when like, this is your job and you love to do it and you just had this job is engine this? issue. <laughs> A month ago, it's a job, okay? It's, it's, not, it's work. It's not it's a not... job considered to some people, but that write in the comments. But it is a job, <laughs> really is. They're gonna tell you in the comments. It's not very. It's not a big bad job. Anyway, anyway, thank you very much for watching, and we're gonna get that boat moving again. We'll keep you filled in, and uh, that's it. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it up. So we'll be back again tomorrow. We won't be on our offshore boat, that's for sure. Uh, but we'll hopefully be doing some fishing. We'll see. Uh, but until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching. No catching today.